His story reads like Paul Bunyan's, a figure so larger than life, so mythical, that even his documented feats read like something from a legendary folk tale. Leroy Satchel Page was armed with a blistering fastball that appeared to be the size of a pea and impeccable control. Over four decades from the 1920s into the 60s, he dominated in the Negro and Major Leagues. The single most famous player in the history of the Negro Leagues, Sash didn't get his start in the majors until he was in his 40s. The oldest rookie in Major League history, depending on which date of birth you believe. Sash himself would never tell his exact age. Page helped lead the Indians to a world championship in his debut season in 1948. And though his exact age may always have been in question, his baseball skills were not. Satchel had an outstanding fastball, one of the best fastballs I've ever seen. It was very live and uh, the greatest control that I've ever seen. The well-traveled Page played for many teams during his long and storied career. And when the regular summer baseball season ended, Satch would put together his own team, the Satchel Page All-Stars, and tour the country playing Hall of Famer Bob Feller's own collection of Major League Stars. It was a racial rivalry uh, situation where there's a lot of talk about no bikes in the big leagues, how would they fare against the big league ball players? And it was great, uh, great competition. We played in Yankee Stadium, we played across the United States, we played in Newark, we played in Cleveland, Columbus, Pittsburgh, Des Moines, Wichita, Denver, uh, all throughout uh, the United States and up and down the coast in Canada from Vancouver to San Diego and uh, it drew very well. As a matter of fact, in Yankee Stadium during the World Series in 1946, we drew over 100,000 in two games on a Friday night and a Sunday. And I pitched against Satchel both games five innings. And of course, uh, uh, the games were very even, and the black players gave a good account of themselves, an excellent account of themselves. Within the fraternity of Negro League players, Satchel Page is revered as the best of the best and he earned a reputation for doing whatever he pleased on the pitcher's mound. A real good fastball, real good control, in and out, and up and down. But he knew just where he wanted to put the ball, and he, nine out of ten times he, 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 he put it right, right where he wanted to. So he was tough, he was very tough. Though the signing of Jackie Robinson opened the door for Negro Leaguers to play in the majors, Satchel felt his status among his peers should have placed him as the first to cross the color barrier. Page didn't have to wait long, however, as visionary showman Bill Veck signed him to a contract with the Indians of July of 1948, and the baseball world quickly discovered that Satch could still mow him down. Now, the, the hard part is the people didn't get to see Satchel when Satchel was in his prime. See, and Satchel, 40-some years old, Satchel pitching against people in the major league was 20-some years old in their prime, and Satchel was a winner, just to show you how good he must have been. And of course he came to Cleveland in 48, pitched for us and uh, won game. So if he had gotten an opportunity at 22 as I got, no telling what kind of record set this gentleman would have set. Page pitched two seasons with the Indians and three more with the St. Louis Browns before retiring in 1953 at the supposed age of 46. But 12 years later, Charlie Finley signed Page to a one-game contract with the Kansas City A's, and Page became the oldest pitcher in Major League history with a three-inning one-hit performance and picked up a strikeout victim in Boston pitcher Bill Mambouquet before leaving the game for good. On February 9, 1971, Commissioner Bowie Kuhn announced that Satchel Page had been elected to the Hall of Fame, the first Negro League player to be inducted into Cooperstown. What makes it so good is the fellows here who started this room about my age, when I went to Cleveland in 1948, they said I was 65 when I went there then. <laughs> and, uh, they got a little confused and they had it all on the street called, if anybody gets Satchel Page age, we'll give them a farm, we'll give them a this. But as I made the little poem, don't never look back, something may be gaining on you. <laughs> and, that was the only thing who uh, what held me up in baseball, make me keep going.